Hello guys, this is Sharon here from 24-7 Techie and in this video we are going to review the Coolpad Note 3. So we unboxed this phone and got this phone about a week ago and I have been uh, using this mobile as my daily driver and in this video I will be sure telling you guys the pros and cons of this phone and uh, why, is the, uh, why you should consider this and why you should not consider this. We will start with the design of the phone. So it is all over a phone with the 5.5 inch 720p display. The phone display is actually very good and it does have uh, three off-screen capacitive keys which are not at all backlit but it does shine uh, it it has been uh, made like this the it has been made like that that it shines the feedback uh, gives us a reflective uh, image so that it's easy to find in light and the back of the phone is uh, matte finish white colored no other color is available right now but uh, the white color matte finish is good it is smudge free you do think the, that it will get dirty easily but it doesn't i have been using it and uh, uh, there's no cover or anything uh, available for this phone so no chance of using it as well and this is in place for fingerprint sensor and um, it is a damn good fingerprint sensor we'll get into that fingerprint sensor later on but uh, i can surely tell you that uh, it's a very good fingerprint sensor and all in all it's a very nicely built uh, phone and uh, good uh, build and design of the phone so now we'll get into the phone and uh, go into the ui of the phone and uh, as you can see the phone ui is uh, without a app drawer the ui is known as cool ui and uh, it also supports uh, themes and uh, a lot of things like uh, these are the themes that are inbuilt and you can even customize a lot more in this uh, like uh, we can even edit the scroll effect and there are a lot more uh, scroll effects uh, available all in all the ui is pretty much smooth and uh, you will really enjoy the ui these are the apps that come in built but it is easily uninstallable so as we pick up the wechat and uh, put it away and easily done nothing else they have also installed a couple of good things like the c button so if we enable the c button and uh, tap on it so it will show you a lot of options and uh, you can use and you can pretty much use your entire phone from here you don't need to use any other key or anything and it is uh, pretty, uh, and it is particularly a very good implementation if you don't like this and on screen key is the type of thing but uh, you knew you don't need to get uh, used to of it but if you do uh, do use it for a couple of days or uh, or for some time then it's easy to get used to and also a nice thing that they've added that should be in the stock android build and with the 5.5 inch display it really works fine so as you can see the multi window feature is there and each and every app is uh, available even the games are available so if we if we add cpu z on this so as you can see the multi window is working nicely and two apps can be used and it can be rearranged as well so there's a little bit of lag sometimes in the multi window if you try to use it uh, quickly or anything but uh, it does work perfectly fine it is a uh, mediatek processor 6735 1.3 gigahertz it is not uh, clocked very high so 1.3 gigahertz you would be thinking that it's not uh, very nicely done but uh, i can tell you that it's a true octagon processor so all, all eight cores work at uh, so all eight cores work uh, simultaneously and uh, it does uh, gives you a good performance in day-to-day -day usage and when you add the, that 1.3 gigahertz with 3 gigs of ram you can get a very smooth performance for, for your phone i can surely tell you that and i have not uh, encountered any lag or any glitches in my day-to-day -day usage yes while gaming you can uh, encounter a couple of uh, frame drops or anything but uh, while your normal days use it's very nice phone to have and uh, if we if we test out the gaming of this phone I will be showing you a clip of the Asphalt 8. As you can see, the graphic setting is on high. The for gaming performance was okay. If you try to run each and every game in high performance, then uh, it won't be very good. But the moment you turn down the graphics to medium, it will be really good performance. So as you can see, it is on high and it is pro performing okay. It is playable easily. It's nicely done. And there's no and there are no heating issues as well and the temperatures never goes uh, above 38 or 37 and as you can see uh, on the high graphics as well it's running very smoothly and uh, on the medium graphics you can surely uh, get good uh, gaming experience and uh, all in all it's a very enjoyable uh, gaming experience on these phones and i can surely recommend you this uh, phone if you are uh, used to playing the candy crush type of games not very graphic intensive but uh, your day-to-day -day games uh, with low graphics 
then uh, they you won't have any issues if we talk about the display quality it is a 720p display but they've used a very good quality display and uh, i can surely tell you that with my personal experience that i was not able to really recognize it if it's a 720p display or a 1080p display and if you can uh, settle for a 720p display and not really if, uh, fuss around about a 1080p display in a sub 10,000 rupees category then this phone is almost perfect for you and if you talk about the camera the camera is actually good and uh, it's a 13 megapixel camera with a very good shutter speed uh, in the 13 megapixel it's actually good and uh, i took it to the oneplus event as well and uh, the camera and the pics turned out to be really good and as you can see in the bad lighting or dark lighting it uh, turned out to be good and if you can see in um, the normal lighting as well it's really good and uh, the uh, camera performance is good it is actually a burst shot so the burst shot comes like this it's uh, it's looking really nice And the, um, I can surely tell you that the 13 megapixel is okayish, and the front uh, camera is actually good. It's a 5 megapixel camera, and it's actually very good. It also gives us the pro uh, options in the front camera as well, and in the back camera as well. And in connectivity point of view, it is uh, it is a dual SIM, dual 4G standby phone. So you, both the SIMs can um, can use uh, 4G. And uh, I tested out uh, uh, 4G on both the phones with an ATL 4G SIM in Delhi and it worked out to be good and as you can see it is a non-removable battery it is in 3000 mAh battery non-removable the battery life was decent uh, more than three and a half hours of screen on time with uh, normal to heavy usage so if you're not a very heavy gamer or heavy user uh, then uh, a day of use can be easily attained from this phone 3000 mAh battery with a 720p display 1.3 gigahertz uh, processor easily done and the enter to benchmark scores is around 35,000 which isn't good enough and now we'll talk about the x factor of this phone the fingerprint sensor and uh, I can surely tell you that it is the best fingerprint sensor you can get for around 10,000 or 20,000 rupees because there's no other choice yet available and uh, I was really impressed with the fingerprint sensor that they have used in this phone and I did record a video uh, earlier on uh, with the fingerprint sensor in front of my mirror I will be showing you guys now, uh, that video now so as you can see I'm standing in front of my mirror and showing you guys the accuracy of this fingerprint sensor so as the fingerprint sensor is placed backside of the phone so it's easier to show it like this so you can see in the mirror how accurate the fingerprint sensor is and how much time the fingerprint sensor takes to record record a finger so i'll try it with my uh, left hand as i've uh, recorded uh, two fingers the both the index fingers of my hand and uh, as you can see it's easily done and it can e easily record the finger from any side so i tried it with other different angles as well and the fingerprint sensor recorded it easily so it is uh, actually a good fingerprint sensor and now after depicting the fingerprint sensor i can surely tell you that the fingerprint sensor used in this phone is really good and um, if you are concerned about the quality of fingerprint sensor it's actually very good just tap on the just tap on the fingerprint sensor and it's already open and it can easily record up to five fingers that's nice and to sum up uh, everything regarding this phone i can surely tell you that it is the best phone available under 9000 or 10000 rupees if you ignore the 1080p display if you if you want a 1080p display you do need to check out the eureka plus or the k3 note which gives you a little bit better performance but uh, without a fingerprint sensor and i can surely tell you that in your day-to-day -day use on normal usage it can get you a good day-to-day uh, -day performance but uh, the fingerprint sensor is actually very good and the camera module and everything is pretty much same on the any other phone you will get in this price point and the x factor and the most selling factor for this phone is the fingerprint sensor and they have actually done justice to that thing and if you are considering buying a phone under 10k it is your best bet uh, according to me thank you guys for watching this video this was Sharon here from 24 7 techie reviewing the coolpad note 3 do subscribe to our channel because we really need subscribers and you can help us a lot through that uh, click on the red subscription button and i really hope to see you in my next video till then see ya